This video is all about natural looking lip colors or you may call them my lips but better colors and um, nothing like really really bright and crazy pretty much every day save for the office or a conservative you know work um, place setting. So um, let's start with the color that I have on right now and it is Shantikai Rosewood and it's quite expensive that's why I only have one I almost bought one today but they discontinued the color which is a really lovely nude I'm not even gonna talk about it because so sad too bad so sad anyways rosewood I bought it when I had black hair now being Asian with like dyeing your hair like really stark black looks real fake and harsh and then I have this on because black is a cool tone color and this is a cool toned um brown you know rose color as well um and it looks really boring and blah on the swatch but then once I lightened my hair it actually gave more color and life and to my skin so finally I was able to pull off this really quite cool though cool tone um, brown and it looked real muddy and dirty on me back when I had a black hair so I highly recommend this um, for you people who um, have the same taste in uh, you know hair color and skin color as me I mean you don't have to necessarily look Asian with like you know dyed red hair no you, you gotta go to the store and give it a chance and try it out if it's not discontinued hopefully um, the next ones are actually three of the Revlon lip butters and um, this one is sugar plum which is the most recent one that I purchased um, it's a plummy color and it looks real natural on and it's quite sheer and um for those of you who don't know like um revlon lip butters have this sheen and then very nice and soft and they're i would say they're like a dupe of the dior attic lipsticks but much much cheaper that's why i don't know i probably have like 10 of them right now so that's uh the sugar plum and then the next one is Peach Parfait, which has a different texture because it's got like, I would say like gritty shimmers, but I still love the overall effect. Like it's not, you know, it's not going to make it look dead or anything. It still gives you that life on your face. So it's a really, it's not like a really peachy color. It's sort of like a pinky, still in the nude family color. But you can, I can feel like the little gritty um, gold shimmers in there. And then the next one, which is fig, fig Jam. And oh my god, it looks so freaking scary, right? Like it looks poop in a tube. But no, it's not. It's actually a lovely um, dark rose color on your lips. And that's that right there and this is one of my favorite lipstick colors to wear for fall or anytime I feel like wearing it and then yeah you'll notice that I love my browns and like you know my yeah my brown colors um this one is um buxom uh full on lipstick in Brooklyn amazing amazing formula you can buy it from Sephora Again, the shade is called Brooklyn, and again, this is a um, mauve sort of like brown color, and it looks really blah again, but when you have it on, I swear, like, when I have it on anyways, I don't, I don't know, I can't see you, um, <laughs> but when I have it on, um, it looks lovely, and you know, you could have like smoky eyes and this on and I feel like old Hollywood black and white movie kind of actress. Yeah, right. I wish. But that's what it makes me feel. And that's the whole point of putting on makeup is, you know, you have to wear something that makes you feel beautiful about yourself. And then the next one is the Stila lip gloss. This is one of like from one of their sets like I think two years ago and I love the packaging because you don't have to dip a wand inside the little you know tube thing you just 
twist it and it clicks and the product gets dispensed from this brush and you know the product inside never ever gets contaminated um it's a sheer color and it smells like candy and it lasts for a long time because it is quite sticky and um it's a sheer berry color but when you have it on it doesn't go on patchy um typically dark colors go on patchy like lipsticks but um because i guess because it's a gloss um uh it comes off like real nicely and that's what it looks like right there um so i don't i don't know this one's called black cherry so i don't think i can get it anymore unfortunately but <laughs> hopefully they have something in their permanent line that looks you know real similar to it um let's stick with the gloss category again i'm gonna show you guys um this one this is buxom dolly now this one again came from one of their like gift sets and um i do love buxom like buxom buxom i have like a whole bunch of their um lip glosses and they're like the best it has this minty tingling feeling on your lips that last for me anyways it lasts for hours and i love it because it's so refreshing especially for hot summer days and you know you have like really cool tingly lips and it doesn't hurt your lips at all and dolly is like a mauve color let's bring it down to here um that's not too cool and it makes me look like i'm dead um it's it's that one right there it's one of those pretty mauvey pink colors that um that i can wear and it lasts for a long time because it's real sticky just keep that in mind and then this is Giorgio armani um gloss the armani number 108 and it's like a shimmery golden caramel color absolutely gorgeous it has like this gel sort of like formula that binds to your lips like it's it it changes in consistently consistency like at first it's sort of like slipper slippery and then after a few minutes it changes into like this gel that becomes one and binds itself to your lips and even though it's a light colored gloss it still lasts for a long time and it is worth the money so and there's a whole bunch of color in their range so pinks and reds and a whole bunch of nudes and that's that right there and it doesn't have a scent either um and it's not you know like sticky so this is a really great unique formula of lip gloss and then next one is um my favorite bobby brown lip gloss this is in um pink sorbet rich color gloss and it's a lovely like i would say like a neutral natural real pretty color and it smells just like you know colgate toothpaste and it's that right there it's a little bit sticky but not as sticky as mac lip glasses and um we're gonna get to that later and um it's yeah and it's not it doesn't give me like the tingly feeling which is a fine and it lasts for a long time as well so i really really like this color and again it's called pink sorbet and then on to mac lip glasses um this one is a recent find um i heard good reviews for this one this is the mac pro longwear lip gloss in show me so yeah i'm, I'm showing it to you right now and um What's unique about this gloss is that it's even stickier than their already sticky lip gloss. And that's fine with me. I love my sticky glosses because that means even long wear, if you're eating, talking, you're always on the go and you don't have time. These are the products for you. If you like the consistency. And unlike the typical vanilla scent, this one smells like cookies. I swear it smells like cookies and it has this like bendy sort of like paddle applicator and it's like a brownie rose color it gives you like a nice opaque like medium to opaque um, coverage on your lips see that's like full-on color right there and it again it's a natural I don't know like rosy color my neighbors distract me like you see one car and i'm like oh car <laughs> um yeah so that's that 
right there. Lovely color, great for every day. You know, that's the whole point of this video. Uh, I got MAC lip gloss in pink lemonade, which is one of my favorite colors ever. And this is anybody's go-to color, like a peachy pink, no shimmer. But again, you guys know MAC lip glosses smell like vanilla and are very sticky. But promise, the Pro Longwear is much stickier than that. And it lasts even longer than the lip glosses. So that's that right there peachy pink and it's it's a very common color um okay this one is a classic the chanel coco rouge coco mademoiselle again it's like a brown rose color and apparently this is like one of those colors that look different on everybody and that's what it looks like not my favorite formula though like i need to wear like a mac prep and prime like primer underneath or like maybe mix one of these glosses here with it so my lips won't dry and your lips have to be in like really really good condition when you wear this because it's not drying or moisturizing either and then another mac lipstick this is rouge allure cap Tivant. I'm not sure if this is limited edition, but I don't wear that much because I have so much makeup in my collection, but it is beautiful and it came out from last year's spring collection and I don't know exactly how to describe this, but it's that one and it's like a... I don't know like I would say like a rosy terracotta color with like you know golden micro shimmer in there that gives you like this sort of like frosty metallic look but not too much it's still really really nice and lovely especially for the summer and it smells like roses and because it's a rouge allure it lasts much much longer than the rouge cocoa and it's um a bit more moisturizing as well and then rouge allure pure color envy and impulsive i was gonna go and buy another rose shade again duh from like their collection but then i tried this color on and it's actually a really really cute brightening youthful pink wow i'm really really good with my adjectives today and um even though i'm kind of hungry <laughs> and that's that right there um again that is pure color envy in impulsive um it has like i don't know i don't know what that smell is but um it smells yummy and it's creamy um but because it's a lighter color it just like comes off right away um but it's it's more moisturizing it has like a little bit of a sheen there you know um but it's one of like the really really nice actually all of the lipsticks from this range is really really nice and pigmented glides on easily creamy shiny and very comfortable on the lips as well but because it's a lighter color too again exfoliate your lips get all the dry you know desert off of your lips before you put it on because otherwise your boyfriend's not going to make out with you and then this is the Giorgio Armani Rouge Armani Sheer in number 200 not moisturizing again you have to have like a bah, lip balm or like a lip gloss with this on but I love it and again this is one of those like raisin sort of like brown colors and because it says Rouge Armani shears is is very shears okay and that's what it looks like there and i really really like this color i love it but i gotta mix it with something moisturizing and then last two products you guys um laura mercier cream smooth lip color in cream coral it's not coral at all again it's a natural lip color and it, it's it's lovely i highly highly recommend this formula very moisturizing very long wearing it has a bit of a sheen there 
and I, I absolutely love the color even though they should totally change the name this is not this is not coral at all and then I think the most expensive lipstick that I have this is the Guerlain um, uh, what do you call it Rouge G very heavy packaging um, but fancy you know when you pull this the mirror lifts and then um, this is your lipstick right there and Grasha is like your lip color but like darker and pretty much your lip color but better and it's like a I don't know like a mauve brown plum color I mean I have three other ones of these and because it's a lighter color it doesn't last as long but it's lovely like it doesn't bleed all over the place it lasts for a long time it's moisturizing um, it makes your lips plumper and healthier and just looks better than before you even put it on so yeah <laughs> it's a really magical product um no it's it's not no um i feel like i'm infomercial and i'm selling you these things but no nobody i'm not affiliated with any company just to let you guys know like i'm doing this for free i'm not making money off of youtube you know like i've been filming for like three or four years now and i don't get ish so um I just really like talking about makeup. So yeah, those are all the lovely, lovely, your lips but better, natural, rosy brown favorite lip products that I like. Even though there are ones that are not really, really rosy brown, yet still appropriate for every day, anytime, anywhere, whatever occasion. So I hope you guys find this video inspirational and, you know, helpful. And um, let me know what your favorite, um, your lips with better natural everyday color down below. Um, please like this video and subscribe if you haven't yet. And up until next time.